Another critical operation tool is the backup functions and restore. Currently, we have two levels of uh, backup and restore. The first is the backup of the wall NDFC service. The backup image can be used afterwards to restore the configuration of a new NDFC service from ground up. The other function of backup and restore applies to each production fabrics. Backup and restore fabrics are supported for external fabric, classic LAN, VXLAN VPN, and multi-site domain. Let's have a look first at the NDFC service backup and restore. You can take a backup of your NDFC apps immediately at any time. You decide if you wish to backup the configuration only or run a full backup. A config only backup contains the intent and uh, dependent data such as discovery switches, the credentials and all the policies used with the configuration associated to all devices. A restore from this backup will have uh, functional fabrics, switch discovery, expected configuration and other settings. A full backup contains, in addition, all the historical data. This backup can be quite large. A restore from this uh, full backup will have uh, all the functional historical reports and uh, metric uh, charts, as well as all the base functionalities. Backup files are stored locally on the NDFC application for the user to download uh, to his local systems uh, when needed. And each backup is secured using an encryption key. You can manually backup your NDFC service or you can also schedule automatic backup to a remote server using SCP, either the configuration only or the full backup. You can save your NDFC service backup either locally to your workstation, managing uh, NDFC, for example, or to a remote server using SCP. And you can restore the configuration only or the full content. The target must be a new NDFC service fresh installed with a blank setup. Now let's talk about the uh, fabric backup and restore. It may happen at any time that you wish to restore a valid backup of one of your fabric, for example, because you faced a critical configuration outage. With NDFC, you can stay confident and you can retrieve the last backup for any fabrics at any time and restore it when you need. NDFC offers you the options to schedule your backup of choice, such as VXLAN VPN or multi-site domain, external fabric and classic LAN. With multi-site domain, backup and restore operates at the MSD level, including all the fabrics onboarded in the MSD automatically. For classic LAN and external fabric, you can even restore the configuration for a single device. There are two types of uh, automatic backup. Either you enable an hourly backup or you schedule a fabric backup at regular intervals. NDSC triggers the automatic backup only if you didn't trigger any manual backup after the last configuration pushed. You can mark one or multiple backup as golden if you wish to keep a reference configuration to restore in case of a critical outage. And when fabrics are members of a multi-site domain, NDFC backups and restore all members of the MSD. Now let's walk through uh, the demo. The function of backup and restore fabric can be initiated manually from the fabric topology view or from the detail view. However, an automatic scheduled fabric backup can be enabled from the fabric settings. In case of a single fabric, there are two backup options, a backup hourly that runs only if there is any config deployment since the last backup, or a backup scheduled at a specific time. In case of multi-site domain, only backup scheduled at specified time is supported. The backup function under MSD Fabric is responsible to backup all fabrics that belong to the MSD domain. As a result, the overlay information related to the MSD Fabric is backed up across all fabric members of the multi-site domain. 
For the purpose of this demo and before we take a backup of your multi-site domain, let's see if all networks and VRF are working as expected. At the top side, the two successful pings are running inside the Fabric 1, while at the bottom side, the two other successful pings are sent across the multi-site domain. All looks good, so we can take an immediate Fabric backup. From any Fabric, including the multi-site domain view, you can trigger a manual backup. From the Action drop-down menu, either from the topology view or from the detail view, select the backup actions. Give a name to create your backup. That action will backup both VX and VPN fabrics. That takes few minutes based on the number of leaf nodes you need to backup. The goal now is to simulate a network misconfiguration in Fabric 2 that will generate a severe outage. From Fabric 2, go to the Detail view, select the Network tab Attachment. The goal being to select and detach all networks from all leaf nodes and interfaces in Fabric 2. When ready, you can deploy to run your intent. That will take a minute or so. When done, the network connectivity between the two sites is lost. Only layer 2 and layer 3 connectivity in Fabric 1 is still working. Return to the MSD Fabric to restore the last backup. From the Action menu, select Restore to get the list of uh, all backups available. Some are created automatically and some manually. You can select one backup that you can flag it as golden if you wish. Now the backup you just created is selected. Go to Next. As you can see, NDFC lists all out-of-sync devices on both fabrics. The one that concerns you are the out-of-sync in Fabric 2. You can preview the differences if you want to further understand the um, current configurations. Otherwise, you can now restore the saved intent. You can follow the processes that generate the initial intent. Go to Next. And now you can deploy the configurations. That will take a minute or so until you get the successful notifications. As you can see, the reachability between both fabrics is now working successfully. Now the key takeaways. In this module, you have seen some of the current daily operation tools that uh, NDFC embeds. You visualized the compute stack with the physical host, the virtual machine of uh, vCenter, how they connect uh, to the VX and VPN fabric. You can also visualize uh, Kubernetes containers and OpenStack machines. If you want to understand the location and life history of uh, any endpoint discovered by eVPN, when it moved from leaf node 1 to leaf node 10, how they are distributed across your fabric, then NDFC integrates uh, the endpoint locator applications. You have seen that the network utilization is not without rest. You can visualize the network utilization across a timeline. You can get uh, alarms in real time for various uh, categories with different severity levels. You can create your alarms. And you have just seen that you can back up any fabric or all fabrics automatically or whenever you want and restore it. Okay, this uh, module concludes uh, this uh, long series of uh, videos. We have seen the six modules that cover the essential functions of NDRC 12. Thank you for watching.